I'm Ryan. I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix a Dell Inspiron 3558 with a broken DC jack. So as you can see, uh, we don't have a battery installed and the AC adapter says it's not installed. And the AC adapter here, AC adapter here, it's uh, wiggling. That means there's a problem with the DC jack and I'll be showing you how to fix that today. Now we're going to disassemble this laptop. So first you want to remove the battery if you have one. Uh, we already took ours out, but if you still have one here, just going to move this lock and your battery should just come out. Next, we're going to check if the keyboard is removable. Uh, if it is, there's likely screws underneath it that's going to prevent you from disassembling your laptop. Um, as you can see, there's some small gaps here. That shows that the keyboard is removable. So we're gonna remove it first by putting a thin object in here, like a razor blade, and we're gonna pop out all of these small uh, holders. All right, this should allow us to just pop the keyboard out and you're gonna slowly lift it up and disconnect any cables you find underneath it. All right, next, we're gonna unscrew all of the screws you find After you've taken out the screws under the keyboard, we're going to take out the screws on the bottom of the computer itself. So you're going to find any of these screws and you're going to take them out. After you've taken out all the screws, you want to pull out your optical drive. Because there's a couple screws underneath that too. Once you've taken out those three, uh, you're done removing the screws from the bottom. Once all the screws are removed, we're going to take off the actual bottom case. Uh, we're going to find a plastic object, we're going to put it in here, we're just going to make a ring around so that all of the locks come unlocked. And then we have our motherboard. After the case is off, we can see where the problem is. Um, usually, this screw here would be holding the DC jack in place, and then the DC jack wouldn't be able to move, but they've the, it's broken in the middle so that the DC jack can move back and forth freely. Um, you can see on a good one, the DC jack and the screw are together, and then this, the DC jack wouldn't move once it's pushed. Um, but to get to remove this, the cables are going underneath the motherboard, so we actually have to remove the motherboard first. Uh, when you do that, you want to disconnect all of the cables attached, um, remove the screw holding down the wireless card, and then take off the wireless card. And then also remove this small black thing because it's also holding down the motherboard. You can just pull that off and then there's one more screw right here. And now we have no screws or cables holding down the motherboard. The last thing holding down our motherboard 
is this hinge over here. So first we're gonna take off this screw. Then we're gonna open the laptop a little bit so that the hinge goes up. And then we can just pull this hinge up so it's not holding down the motherboard anymore. Uh, now there's no more screws or anything holding down the motherboard, but there's a cable right here and a VGA cable up here that's preventing the motherboard from moving freely. What we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this USB port board and that's going to allow us to flip over the motherboard and get a better look at the DC jack. Uh, first, to do that, we need to remove the hard drive. And we're also going to remove this screw here. And then our USB board port should be able to just come out and our motherboard can flip over. Uh, now we're going to replace the broken DC jack with our better one. So you can see it's plugged in right here. I'm going to get rid of this tape and then just pull out the DC jack like that. Then we're going to get our better one. Make sure we plug it in the right way. And then just push it in. And then we've switched our DC jack. Now I'm going to put the motherboard back to its original position. So I'm going to put it general first. Then make sure you watch out for any cables that might prevent it from going back. I want to make sure it's not lying on your DC jack cable either. And then once you feel it lock, you have it back in its original position. Now I'm going to secure the new DC jack. So first you want to remove the screw of the old one and take out the plastic of the old one. And then we can align the new DC jack with the port. Make sure that it's properly aligned, and then you can screw it back in. Uh, make sure your cables are not over the motherboard as well, and then you can cover the DC jack with your hinge. Now we've changed the DC jack and replaced it with a new one. We're gonna screw in we're gonna screw in the new um, hinge to make sure that it doesn't move and we've replaced the DC jack. After we've done that, we're gonna put everything back into the computer, starting with this small black thing. All right, once we find its location, we're gonna put in one screw in the middle to secure it down. Next, we're gonna make sure our USB board port, port board, sorry, is also down and attached. So we're gonna put on our hard drive next. And then the screws. We can put in our wireless card after. Uh, make sure you attach all of the cables to the motherboard. And 
can put in our last screw here. After we reconnect the antenna here, we're going to attach everything else, so, like the bottom case, the keyboard, and the optical drive. When you put on the bottom case, make sure that this cable goes through this little gap here so that we can attach it on the other side. Now, after we put the computer back together, we're going to plug in the AC adapter. As you can see, it doesn't shake anymore. We're going to turn on the laptop and boot into BIOS. And then from there, we can see the battery information. We can see that the AC adapter is 65 watts. In Dell laptops, if this number is wrong, or if it says unknown or not installed, uh, first, you want to try another AC adapter to see if it's a problem with that. And if it's still wrong after, there's likely a problem with your DC jack. During this video, I showed you how to replace the DC jack of this model of laptop. I'm able to do this because I'm working with the experienced technicians here at Kaplan Computers. If you have any questions, concerns, or are confused about anything I showed you, bring your machine in here and we'll gladly help you out.